You know what, guys? What we need to do is get so focused on God saving your soul, saving your mind, will, and your emotions. Get so focused on being whole, guys. Like, that's, that's, that's the new wealth. That's the new health. Being whole in Christ Jesus. Okay, being free. Okay, being real. Being at peace. No matter what. This is where God wants to get you to. Each and every last one of you, God wants to do it for you. He wants to really save you and show you what that means. He wants you to be free and what that really means. He want to get you to that place, to walk in freedom, to talk in freedom, to breathe in freedom, to live and be in freedom, to become freedom. Make ye out of my soul, to be, come the word of God. It is God who makes us free. And whom the son sets free is free indeed. God wants to get you to this place. Because so many are bound. They're bound by things. They don't got themselves so caught up in idolatry and serving other gods in material, in the material realm. And having material things and mammon and money. Okay. They, they, they're not free. They're bound. Okay. Imagine going through hell. But having peace and freedom while you're going through it. What's better for you? To really be saved by God. Or to live bound in chains to Satan. Because that's what he's after. He's after your soul, your mind, will, and your emotions. He plays tricks on your psyche. Because why? Because you're not free. Because in freedom, you know what freedom is? Truth. The truth is what makes us free. He's not after your stuff. Y'all got this mixed up. The devil not after your things. He's not after your cars. He's not after your clothes. He's not after your money. He's after your freedom. The truth of God. That's what he after. He came to steal, kill, and to destroy that. He came to pervert what's truth. And sell you a lie. God wants to save you. He wants to get you to freedom in him. And that's through his word. That's through deliverance. That's through an intimate relationship with him. That's through having his Holy Spirit. Okay? You got to remain though. You got to remain with God. Okay? It's through a daily walk of you picking up your cross. Keeping your foot away from evil. Denying yourself. And following Jesus. Okay. You got to keep your foot away from evil. See a lot of people miss this. They they miss that part. Your love got to be sincere. You got to hate what is evil. And you got to cling to what is good. This is what keeps you free. Once you contaminate yourself. Once you let people deposit all this stuff off in you. Now you got lies entering in. The eye gate, the ear gate. Some of y'all fellowshipping with, 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 with lies. With, 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 with Satan devices and, and things like that. And you so bound within. And you thinking they got everything to do with character. When it has everything to do with truth and freedom in Christ. When you hooked up to God, you got all that. You get all that. It's a byproduct. You get all that. His character, his wisdom, his knowledge. You get everything he is. But once you try to think you can walk with God and hold hands and tiptoe with the devil, that's when you messed up. You can't. 
You can't mix truth with a lie. It'll forever be a lie. A piece of truth will forever be a lie. Because it's not all of it. God wants to give you everything. Okay? This is what being whole means. To have everything in Christ. <laughs> Alright? Have everything that he is. And to continue to produce more for his glory. Okay? It ain't got nothing to do with just no character. It got everything to do with freedom and truth. That's when your emotions are whole. Okay. All right. God got to be the center of it all, man. All right. We got to get this. Be blessed.